Hi, welcome to my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. Tonight I'm doing a spell, guys. What it's going to be, it's going to be called Remove Obstacles Between Me and Another Person and Bring in a Strong Friendship Bond. You might recognize this from before. I did a similar spell. This, the one I did before was about bringing down a wall of so we could communicate with somebody, so I could communicate with somebody. I did that a couple guys, and that spell worked very well. So this one's a little different. I'm not going to say who it is. I'm not giving it away, and it can't be proven, but I'll say this much about it. There's just one person in my life. I'll see them certain places. I'll see them in a certain place, but they'll talk to me just fine. But when I'm outside of that place, they don't even acknowledge me. It's, I, 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 I understand what I'm saying. I mean, it's hard for me. Without giving too much away, I can't really go into details, but it just, it's been bugging me for quite a while. And I'm gonna try to do something about that tonight, guys. I'm gonna this this represents the obstacles. It's like a wall between us, and I'm gonna tear that down. But first, I'm gonna do a road opener spell, and I, with the bay leaf, and I'm gonna save the ashes from it to, for the road opener to use in this. So I gotta move this out of the way real quick. I'm gonna bring my cauldron over. I do have an inset that I'm going to be using in it, so what I'm going to have to do is remove the ashes out of it before I place them somewhere temporarily, before I uh, put the inset back in there. Alright, I don't want you guys to see what's on the back, otherwise I'll have to edit the video because there's two names written on here, me and the other person in our date of birth. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this in my hand. It says, remove obstacles, bring friendship, open all roads. And I have the two heart friendship symbol on there. So first thing I'm going to do is do a road opener with this bay leaf. And I'm going to open the roads to this spell. Because this is more challenging, because this person is more challenging. I'm going to do a road opener. So, okay. Remove obstacles, bring friendship, open all roads. Oh, before I do that, guys, there's a certain... Uh, uh, goddess I've been working with. I'm not going to say who it is because that's private. But I will say that uh, I'm asking for the assistance from this. I'm going to say that quietly. This, I need assistance for this because I really want not just my intentions, but I, I need help with this spell, guys. So give me a second, alright? Okay. Alright, now we're going to do the road opener, okay? Remove obstacles. Bring friendship. Open all roads. Remove obstacles. Bring friendship. Open all roads. Remove obstacles. Bring friendship. Open all roads roads remove obstacles bring friendship open all roads remove obstacles bring friendship open all roads the stem is the only thing left this layer can be a little tricky sometimes it's one of those refillable ones Remove obstacles, bring friendship, open all roads, so mote it be. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the ash, I'm going to break it up a little bit. I'm going to be using it in this spell. It's a road opener. The ash is from a road opener, so I'm going to use it the spell guys so I'm going to take my mortar pestle I'm just going to use the from that store it temporarily all right now 
I'm going to take my Dragon's Blood Instant and put it back in there. I'm going to show you what I got for the spell too, alright? What I have... Come to me oil. These are flowers I dedicated to the goddess I'm working with. And they're powerful because they were used as a dedication to this goddess. So I'm going to be using some of these. And I've got some other flowers over here to tie me more directly to the person. That's all I'm going to say. So I have a sigil I created with both of our names. Both of our names. And that's going to go between both candles once they come together. I'm not binding. I'm not going to force in this anybody. I'm not doing a binding. I don't bind people without their permission. So, all right. I'm going to bring this back over. First thing I'm going to do. I'm going to light this and burn down, I'm going to start the, start the spell by burning down the obstacle, the wall between us. Alright, and I'm going to speak my intentions as I do it. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. It's coming down, guys. It's coming down. Like I said, I did a similar spell before. It worked tremendously. Remove all obstacles between us and bring in a strong friendship bond. So multi. It's not necessary for me to mention a name because I have name written on this can my name and another person's name written on the other candle. I'm not taking this ash and sprinkling because this is the one that removed the, I'm not gonna do that with this one. Because I don't want this this is the this is what's left the remains of the obstacle, the wall that was between us. So that is not going to be used to go on stuff but I'll bring the candles closer by it because it's down but I'm not gonna do that guys so, so the so now the obstacle the walls down guys so now what I'm gonna do take my candles set them there I know it's a little black on the bottom it's just from the when I when I melted them on so because this lighter does that so I think it might be the gas that's in there so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my come to me oil, I'm going to dress the candles with that, come to me, remove all obstacles between us, bring in a strong friendship bond, come to me, remove all obstacles between us, bring in a strong friendship bond, come to me. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Now I'm going to take the other candle and do the same thing, guys. Come to me. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. Come to me. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Guys. Give me one second. I've got to rinse my hands off here. Get some moon water. It's cleansing, so I like to use that for that. You know, thing you can do with moon water, if, say for instance you really need to do a spell that's a wane, on the waning moon, but it's for a waxing moon, you can take stuff you've harvested from the full moon energy, or even a wane, waxing moon, you can use that. Like moon water, you could actually technically do that with. But still, it'll work out better if you do it on the proper moon cycle, but you can, it can help you guys, especially in an emergency situation. So, I'm going to take some of this ash and move it out of the way. 
right? Try not to get it on my candles. Like I said, I was going to leave it there, but I think I'm just going to take it out of the way because it's not necessary anymore. I'll keep these back from that. So. Put the walls down, the obstacles down. Now what I'm going to do, guys, I got I got my sigil. My hands are still a little messy. It's okay because I'm going to be putting stuff on here anyway. So Remember, this is my sigil. It has both of our names on it, and it says remove all obstacles between. It says our names on it. So I'm going to take the sigil. Oh, that wall had the sigil written on it too, on each side. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to anoint it with some come to me oil. I'm just going to put it right on the sigil. All right. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mo dippy. Now I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna try real hard to take the sigil, place it between the two candles, just like that. Okay. And now I'm gonna stick these two candles. Let's move that a little bit. All right. Take the two candles. See how I'm bringing them? See how I brought them together now? Because that obstacle's down. I want to be careful. I don't want to set the sigil on fire just yet. If I do, I guess I'll have to deal with it. I'm going to try turning down the flame. Hold it a little lower. I not, really don't want to set that on fire. Try to be careful not to do that. So I'm setting that just like that. Sorry guys, I know it's hard to see it right now. I just gotta hold this because I don't want it to come apart when I'm trying to seal it on. It should be okay. Alright. Well, they're together now. See, the candles are brought together. So now it's no longer apart. We are brought together. Now I'm going to continue the spell, guys. I'm taking the road opener ash and I'm going to sprinkle it over the candles and speak my intentions, all right? Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mo dippy. It doesn't have to land directly on the candles, guys. Some of it is, but it can be around it. See? That's just for the road opener. All right, now I have some special rose petals here. I'm not gonna say how they're connected, but they are. I'm gonna take one of them, just a little space. I'm gonna try to carefully set it between. The other ones I'm just going to break up and just wherever it lands it's fine. I'm just going to pour over the candles, all right? Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a spring us. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Now, some of the flowers, petals that I dedicated the goddess I'm working with. And that makes these much stronger, guys. So I've been saving them, see? Each day I leave another offering of these along with some other things. And I've been saving these up. I'm going to start invoking her more with some of my spells. So Not all of them. But some. All right. Remove all obstacles between us. I call on a goddess now for assistance. 
So mote it be. Now these I'm going to push around the two candles just like that. All right, guys. Now I'm going to light the candles. And then I'm going to light then I'm going to light my uh I have two incense. I have a honey one and I have a dragon's blood. I'm actually using both of those tonight. You'll see what I mean. It's okay if the flower burns. That's actually what I wanted to do, that one on top. So. All right. Now, take my cauldron, open it up. I'm setting this one, setting it right here. I'm going to light the incense inside the cauldron. That's the dragon's blood one. All right. This is just to help remove any extra negative energy, but also keep positive around. So I don't want nothing interfering with this, but I want this to be continuous as much as possible. And when I do stop the video, I'm going to be speaking the name of the person, but I'm not doing that on camera. So as I mentioned about a month ago, I've changed my, my mind about using names. As long as you're not harming somebody, I talked to some of my fellow practitioners. Which sisters and brothers? And they said that's perfectly fine. A lot of times people first start to craft, they wonder about things like that. And uh, I've learned that it's okay to do that. So. so I got that going. Now I got a honey inset. This one I'm lighting right on the candles, guys. All that is going to burn, even the sigil. That's perfectly fine. That's what I wanted to do. So. All right. Because it is the waning moon, I'm going to start out going counterclockwise. When I say remove, when I say between, I'm going, I'm going clockwise. So I'm going to start speaking my intentions and putting that energy out, guys. All right. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us and bring in a strong friendship bond so mote it be in the energy going guys Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. I'm visualizing this, guys, as I go. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. May I be accepted, no longer ignored. With the help, Goddess, I call on now. Please assist me with this tonight.
along with my intentions. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Sigil's going now, guys. It's a destructible sigil. That's exactly what I want to do. See how it's burning away? Like I said, both of our names are written on there. And it brings us together with the candle. So I'm going to work with this for another minute and get ready to stop the video, guys. All right? Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So moke dip be. I'm fanning the dragon's blood incense over towards the candles, guys. So. Remove all obstacles between us. Bring in a strong friendship bond. So moke dip be. Remove all obstacles between us. And bring in a strong friendship bond. So mote it be. And that's how you do it, guys. Let this continue to burn down as I work with it. And we have to stop the video soon. But we're going to go over what we usually do. All right? Remember, guys, everyone has worth, value, beauty, and needs to be loved. The person... I'm trying to bring the obstacles down become a friend with they have worth value beauty they deserve unconditional love unconditional acceptance unconditional friendship unconditional respect guys and guys if you would like to help out with this channel I would really appreciate it there's no obligation but it would be greatly appreciated remember my contest is coming up soon too Middle, I, I should have talked more about it, but remember you're going to win one of those mushrooms and stuff. So get, uh, get your referrals in, uh, subscriptions, and comment on a contest video for an extra entry. All right? All right, guys, if you want to donate to my channel, my cash app is dollar sign eclectic 81. That's dollar sign E C L E C T I C A 1. Send an email if you want to, if you have a suggestion, you just want to say hi. Um, like a suggestion for a spell or for a discussion or something, guys. Or just let me know how I'm doing. I'd appreciate it. It's the same as my PayPal. If you want to donate that way, you can as well. It's eclecticmailwitch at gmail.com. That's eclecticmailwitch at gmail.com. Alright, guys. Please like this video subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification icon to be updated on my latest video thank you for watching my video this is the eclectic male witch blessed be